I recently found an add-in for Microsoft Word that I found very, very helpful, and I just wanted to share it with everybody in case it's something that might help you in your processes. So I've noticed I am having to cut and paste a lot of photos into a Word document to kind of put them into a report format, and I found this add-on, which basically automatically does that for you. It's just a, you know, a macro that they've coded, and it'll dump this stuff. You basically point it to your file with all your pictures in it, and it will grab all of them, and it will do this. So I'll quickly show you how to make one of those, and I'll show you where you can find the file. So I've created a template for myself with a couple of fields that I would type text into to put the right context at the top of my photos, but then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Insert tab, and I'm going to click on this Add-in tool, which is the Photo Gallery. Uh, it pulls up the Gallery Control Panel. When the panel first opens up, this will probably be empty. Once you've used it once, this will be full because you have set the source folder. So I'm going to go ahead and set the source folder for the folder that I want to point this to. and hit OK. You may notice that that refreshed a little bit. So so I've got about, I don't know, 20 photos in there and all I have to do is hit Add All and then you may want to look at your configuration for your formatting. It'll let you choose how many photos you want in each row. Uh, you can put a border around it. You can set your caption for your or your uh, font and your other attributes for your caption. I think when you first run this it by default will include the file name in the caption. I like to turn that off and then also by default the sequentially numbering images is turned off so I like to turn that on. And that way it'll number each one of your photos and if you want to reference them in your documentation you've got those numbers there. So that's how I like mine set up. Again I've got all the photos in the publish list and all you have to do is hit create that. This is just going to tell you hey just relax this might take a minute and then depending on the speed of your processor you know whatever else you may have running on your computer this could take a little while alright and then once it's done it's gonna have your file names or whatever there you can edit your captions so you can put some context add some context to your photos but as you can see it's just created a table and it has dropped photos and captions in for each one of the photos that you pointed it to um, now, I found this on uh, this guy's website. It's, his, it's gregmaxi.mvps.org. I guess I'll scroll up, but you'll have to scroll down to the bottom of the page. The download is right there. He's offering that up for free. You don't have to purchase anything. Obviously, they don't mind it if you donate something. But uh, this is his website. There's some good information on how to use it and how to download it. When you download it, it's going to drop a zip file wherever you download it to. So you need to navigate to that zip file. You need to right click and hit extract all. And then once you've extracted everything, it's going to give you a folder. So navigate to that new folder, open that folder. Inside the folder, there's going to be an executable file, the .exe. If you double click on that, it will install or run the file for you. Um, if Windows or uh, Word, sorry, is open at the time, it'll tell you to close it. And then when you reopen it, you'll notice that the uh, add in will be in your photo gallery. Now, be mindful that files of this type could cause damage to your computer. They could carry viruses and other things like that. So take the necessary precautions, run it through your IT department, whatever you need to do. But this definitely helped me in my processes. Hopefully it will help you.